What's up guys, I'm Nathan from Next Gen Tutorials and today we are reviewing the Bose Soundlink Mini 2. Yes, so you're probably wondering what does the new Soundlink Mini have in store for us? Well, let's check out the features. So, the new features of the Bose Soundlink Mini 2. First of all, most noticeable, the color. You have the grey pearl and the black caramel. The exterior of the Bose Soundlink Mini 2 doesn't really differ too much from the Bose Soundlink Mini 1, except for the color of course. The top has one extra button and the chiseled edges are a bit different. Secondly, charging is now available through micro USB, which you can see on the side on the same location. However, you can still charge it with a cradle, which is great because it's, it makes it just so much easier to just put it in and have it charging rather than trying to find you know the right way to put in the micro USB. Unfortunately they did not yet install a USB-C port but I guess that will be for the Soundlink 3. Another great addition to the Bose Soundlink Mini 2 is the fact that they've added a center button on the top of the speakers. This center button marked with three little dots acts as a track control so a short press will start or stop your music a double press will take you one track forward, a triple press will take you one step back, and keeping it pressed starts calls, rejects them, and even activates Siri. Another thing you should know is that Bose has increased the battery life from 7 hours to 10 hours. So let's summarize. First of all, you have the colors black carbon and grey pearl. You can charge through micro USB, but there's also a charging cradle. There's voice guidance, the center function button acts as a track control, so a short press will start or stop your music, a double press will take you one track forward, a triple press will take you one step back, and keeping it pressed starts calls, rejects them, and even activates Siri. The rubber foot will absorb any unwanted vibration, the battery should last 10 hours, they've added a function to disable the shutdown when connecting the power supply, it can store up to 10 Bluetooth devices and connect to two devices at the same time. So, what's my opinion? If I were looking for new Bluetooth speakers, these are the ones I'd buy. They're portable, they're small, they're probably one of the best sounding Bluetooth speakers on the market today. And I would strongly recommend you to go to your local shop, find them, listen and decide yourself. I'm Nathan from NextGen Tutorials, I hope you enjoyed this review and see you next time. Bye guys!